I should, I should, I should have done this before I got started. I have a little bit of stomach ache today because my kids are visiting and they want to eat like fish and such, which eats a bit of my stamina. There's a reason I'm mostly vegetarian. Let me put some stomach medicine here. Then um, is there a reason why it's not registering? And then kill the game because it's not registering my controller. And then start the game again. There we go. Okay. Previously, the cops were on our asses. And our expedition's back. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Yay, are we going to get some cool things? Ooh, pirate flag. I knew this would be big. What a treasure. And a treasure. That fills out the layman's sea. Get everything there. Haha. <laughs> everything here. Let's go to here. Scout then. ship setting sail. What's this new treasure we Pendant. Got? Nothing of any worth to me. Pendant found at the center of a raging windstorm on the Laven Sea, said to occasionally emit a sound like a howling of a beast. Really? Sure, the pendant looks a little sinister, but the jewel's a pretty shade of red. I actually think it would suit you nicely, Velvet. I'm not sure if I should take that as an insult. I don't mean it in a bad way. It's like putting lipstick on a rapid, you know. You're just sticking yourself in deeper. Haven't you heard the phrase? It means you can take someone cute and dress them up nicely. They'll be even cuter. You have that wrong on so many levels. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me try this other way. Give pearls to rapids, caviar, caviar to the general, and pendants to demons. Something like that. Or like bleaching to deaf ears. Commander of the Sea. Ooh. Tell me about your new title. Capability versus wind. Okay, well, I think Sorcerer is fine for now. And Aizen is our sub. Okay, I guess we are just gonna have to go deal with the cops. To get some Vel. No, I'm in the mood. Shall we be off? To look at Magdalu's lovely heart. Five hearts. Fart, if you will. That's a terrible idea. Never again, Barb. Okay. Hey, you almost got me. You have exorcists to blame.
Hey. Right here, the panacea, the panacea bottle. Praetor Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Your collusion could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. You pick on me. the people and sullied Artorius's ideals. No, that's not... <laughs> Velvet, she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't kill them. I'm not done yet. There. Now we're even, Eleanor. You've got new swords. Sinister. I like it. I take it you're ready. Yeah. All that's left is to kill Sigurde. Yeah, let's With get me him. as a witness. I... I... Keep on fighting like that. And you'll be killed. And if you get killed, Lafayette will lose his vessel. I know that. Velvet, wait. You're, you're not going to kill them? I'm just not that hungry right now. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Understood. We need them to go back to Artorius with all the warning, right? I, I guess that fight. was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you got that right. Ah, hi there, buddy. Ugh, gug. I don't need your pity, traitor. Hey, Bienfil? I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. 
I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier. If that's okay. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel? And how to get the cuties? Hey! Keep it down! Keep it down! But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact! Why do you still need either of those books? Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for yeah, you. Yeah, what the fuck? Whoa! You read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner, is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot spring topics, bearing your body and your soul. Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about... After bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels. Yeah, Why do you keep trying to get horrible. us naked? I think that would just make things even more awkward. Picky, picky. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking, living long and loving hard. Oh my god. <laughs> diary of a diary thief. Hands speak louder than words. All classics. I remember reading them when Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something together? We are. We are. Loppy Set's been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on! Let's go, let's go! Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. God, we all want to string Dian Fu up so much. Just like, put that thing in a noose and dangle it off the freeway. Just, wow. What the fuck? That's supposed to be cute. Cause it ain't. Hey there, friend. Okay. I'm gonna swap you out. Actually. How are we doing on mastery for you? Uh, 22 out of 574. Yeah, we'll keep you to you. We'll just make sure we're tapped up on these. Okay. Then let's go get them. Okay, she gray. Vroom vroom goes the car in the alleyway. People really do like to show off by just vrooming, and it never has made any sense to me. Like, how is that supposed to be cool? Like... Hi. I have a car and I am so cool. Look at me just waste gasoline. 
aren't I the coolest? Because I'm wasting gasoline and putting wear on this vehicle that's super fucking expensive to replace. Hi. Hey. Do you have gifts for me or are you a loser? Eat shit and die. call your storm howl a reject well you see when blacksmiths make swords they don't just make one at a time they make a whole bunch the best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner while the rest are tossed aside huh i didn't realize the standards were so high the head of my clan gets the real storm howl and his siblings get the remainders so one is real and the others are imitations i guess so Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. And to Velvet? Which Lafayette said is real? And which is the imitation? Oh. What are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorias! Surely you are mistaken! Our shepherd would never do such a thing! But what else could make Velvet hate Artorias so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth! Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Uh... Eleanor... Poor... Poor Curly... Gotta learn, gotta learn that those who wield the levers of state power will do what they need to do to fulfill their ambitions. And morality doesn't come into play. Rawr. Well, this was waste. Hi there, buddies. Hi, buddies. is just so relaxing, right? Like, oh, hi. This, that, that pitter patter. Listen. I love it. It's real comfy. And it certainly doesn't help hurt that we're looking at Maggie Lou being all gorgeous. Like, we can have Eleanor looking all gorgeous. We, oh, Velvet's cute. Velvet, we don't have any super great Velvet outfits. I mean, they're all, they're all great, but they're not like, I don't know, they're just not, 
They're not quite what I was hoping for. Yeah. You are fire barrier. Where's our pedestal? I see you're hiding. Okay. And... Yep. And now we're on the other side of the big chasm. I love that. The magic Kazam. Actually, does the magic Kazam to light the fire? This is great. A splendid surfeit of subtlety. Shigure both use the Rangetsu style. But to me, it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learned the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware, Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> his skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, he'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Storm Howl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Storm Quell, burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other. One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades. But I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. Um, because the exorcists want to kill the demons, the demons want to to not be killed, so they have to kill the exorcist. It's really not complicated, girl. Eleanor, I love you, but you're like blinded by ideology. No! Fall me fluid, but, 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 I don't want it now. How am I full on ball me fluid already? I don't want to sell it. It's so unfair. Can't we just start a new stack? I have two stacks of balmy fluid. Don't ruin me. I'm sad I have to leave behind the balmy fluid. Be a great place to have the hops. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. She can't catch me. Okay. We now know we're going to have trouble. Oh, hey. 
I didn't expect we'd just immediately be in town. Okay. Cool. You. Don't you con me this time. Yay! A water Norman had the Lapa set. That's not really that useful, actually. But it's not a complete con. Turn those off and then go to Terran Kilo. I think that's better actually. Anything with balmies. We don't actually get any, we don't have anything that balmies help with. So let's sell uh, 50 of them. Okay. We should go back and save again before we go to the fight so we don't have to re remenu. See, they got everyone out of here for out of here for us. They wouldn't want us to spoil the next fight they were setting up. Hey. There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now, how did that sword of yours turn out? <laughs> Fine. I'll find out for myself. Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. All right. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Not bad. Better not die too quickly on me. I want this to be fun. Come on, bro. Don't hold back. Shut up. Don't play games with me. Ah! Ah! 
Down. That's that's not good. There we go. Oh shit. I thought we won, but no. Fuck. Okay, just got more through. Oh shit. Oh, it was a cutscene. Put up a good fight. I'll give okay. you that. But you're a freaking demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. Don't count me out. Just yet. I've got something to show you! Take this! What? Well, if you hadn't brought that second sword, you'd have won. Now that was clever! Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck! If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. All right. Let's call it good here. Listen up. If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes! There we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. Uh, That guy, he was really strong. Yeah, 
He was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. <clears throat> yeah, let's beat him. The Von Elty is here. Let's get going. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Storm Hell yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Storm Howl, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> you heard him, Kudogane. Many thanks. We're gonna shove a pirate up your ass. Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah, we're headed for the Isolt Archipelago in South Gand. Yay. Ah, three KOs. That damn. What shadow step? Spear wielder is uh SG costs and HP recovery. Uh AC carts and art defense. Spell damage and earth attack power. Stagger duration, invulnerability time. Treasure hunter, increased art costs. Capability versus winged. Herbalist. Increases power of arts, capability versus feats. Marathoner. Increased art power, capability versus Apotus. Chatterista. Capability versus armor. Shadow Stepper is the new one. Attacks evaded. I didn't do it. I'm not good at that. Let's go back to Spear Wheel. Mm. Let's go back to Spear Wielder, because we're not really doing the arts thing. Child of the Wind is probably better for us. Let's give you dual wielder. True Magulu, effect of burn reduced by 40. Purple Witch. Let's do that, because we have lots of water arts. I'm already halfway to the third level of menu base. Let's do incapacitator. Okay. Our expedition. Twin shark and a flower batch. Scout ship setting. Velvet's demon hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash, and can devour most anything. How must that feel, to devour something with your hand like that? Oh my God. But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected with some sort of special art? Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing. Yet, she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it. But that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man! Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. 
Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could <laughs> be in over my head. Died. But the tougher the fight, the more I get fired up. Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who'd scold you for what now? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking about sewing. I mean, your clothes, they're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me, wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from wow. time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes, but if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. She's good with her hands. Oh my god. Sahil, you're not here. Why are you not here to hear Eleanor as she says that she's good with her hands? Eh? Playing freaking Outer Worlds? Missing Eleanor calling Velvet that she's good with her hands even if she's a little awkward? I... All right. If I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good. Just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all. But you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. Besides, I don't imagine it feels that great. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work. Because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. All right. Thanks. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other. <laughs> Lesbians. Gosh. Oh my. Just ah. You. What nightmares do you have for me? None of those look like anything I want to touch. So, you guys made it. Whatever happened to that sword breaker? He's been dealt with. What are you doing here? After everything you said to me, I had a change of heart. I quit banditry. Thank you. I'm glad you listened to reason. What do you plan on doing from here on out? I'm heading to the capital. I plan on opening a restaurant for bandit cuisine. Bandit cuisine? Yeah. You get your hands on all sorts of food as a bandit. You gotta use what you have and still make a tasty meal. Like a wild mushroom omelet minus the eggs. Or highwayman stew. It's like a hunter's stew, but, you know, made by bandits. That sounds... somewhat improper, actually. But I'd still love to visit after you open. Really? All right. I'll be an upright citizen in no time. <laughs> Maybe even the kind of man you'd consider spending some time with. I'm oh rooting God. for you. Hey, were you actually listening to him? Of course I was. It's wonderful he's turned over a new leaf. Uh... I'm going to build a better life for myself. Just you wait and see, Madam Exorcist. That hell warned me about that, but I was, and I, I've seen it before because I watched her play it. But I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. The port may have lost its bustle, but the craftsmanship here is as good as ever. Our swordsmiths are among the best you'll find. There may not be a lot of bright steel left, but the quality makes up for the lack of quantity. Abby says the dreaded swordbreaker's on the loose, but they said a leg it after him. Who knows what damage the swordbreaker could have caused if, it weren't, if we weren't warned in time. Thank goodness for the Abby. It's a pity, pity we didn't leave Shigeru's corpse lying in the middle of the road for everyone. I'm surprised it said in order to stay indoors, but like it, Shigeru knows what he's doing. He took care of that sword, swordbreaker demon once and for all. Thank goodness he's around. Legit Shigure is the greatest swordsman in the world. No demon can stand against him. The only wound he's ever suffered came from his pet cat scratching his chin. 
other I can see is Malik, or does he have another kitty? Yeah. Hey, you there. That's one impressive sword you got. You know a lot about swords? I'm a novice swordsmith. Been at it for 20 years. Now I'm finally able to make a blade worthy of the name. 20 years? And still just a novice? It's a competitive world out there for a swordsmith, especially here on this island. But I heard many swordsmiths have given up. There's less ore around nowadays, and swords don't work against the demons. True, swords are useless against demons. Unless it's an exorcist that's using them. Kednick's weaponry has always been prized in Midgant. The Abbey recognized our talents, and now, business is booming. All the smiths here are grateful to the Abbey for keeping all of us alive and fed. Forging equipment that can withstand Nexus's power is no simple task. You have to enhance it again and again with the help of its owner to protect to perfect it. You'll be needing to enhance your own equipment too. Yep. Piles of brad steel and iron ore pass through the port in its glory days. For the mines of Brick Ravine have since run dry. Now this is just an island on the southwest frontier. I guess there's a boom. A bust ain't too far off. Long ago, a swordsmith went to the mine in search of purest bright steel. He died when a tunnel collapsed on him, but his soul wandered on, still searching. Sometimes you can still hear the sound of the hammer pounding in the metal deep from underground. <laughs> I've heard that story before. It's a nice little local legend. Looks like quite a journey. Ease your weariness before you go. Okay. Tight, tight, tight. Tight, tight, tight. Ah! tight. Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to 100,000 swings. 100,000? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro. Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it, despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. Fucking move. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. I wish I could stay up all night and all day and never be tired. But you know that the fucking, like, capitalists would just find a way to make it so you end up spending all your time fucking grinding for their pocketbooks. Because that's what they do. What's over here? Hey, it's the storehouse. Gonna be like this, huh? Beep, 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 beep. And? <laughs> No one was the wiser. We have plundered. We have plundered the port. Quick. I must, we must flee. Oh, we killed one of these. Do you have a reward for us? Woohoo! We 
killed the Shrieking Demonic Bat. He killed the Coming Tendrils. You are supposed to be in Midgand. How did you end up here in Islegand? I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Think of this as a dry run for when I really kick the bucket. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. If she does anything funny, I'll handle it. Got it! We'll be on our guard, too. But if the captain heard us talking to taking the Exus along with us, he'd be thrilled. Now that's something you don't expect me to say. Why in the blazes would it be an Isle game? Uh, Skipper's Curse, of course. You wish to travel to a different continent? Talk to Benway. Traveling this manner doesn't cost gal, making it an excellent option for travel. We can't go back to the continent yet, but we can go down the essence. It's like the tutorial level of sailing. Ooh. Cutscene. I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troupe. Are you alright with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are, and took us all on board. So he's a kind man. Well... Would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting. A lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady. And others he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around, and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eyfried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions! The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them! 
That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, right. <gasps> Alas, that my glorious saga should meet such an ignominious end! I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right. We'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know. You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Oh, not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's curse. The Reaper's curse? <laughs> Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah, it's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's Scourge. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air, or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure, but there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. Solitoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just... Well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but... It tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, I'm not worried. It... It just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. That Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake. I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear... Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord. Respect your parents. Protect the weak and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code, and he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. 
I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. Jealous. Jealous velvet. Oh, this is bad. I think I got it too. I'm not glad you can handle sea sickness during a storm, but not this. Aye, aye, you're right. If I don't put myself together, the captain will never let me hear the end of it. He's completely and utterly out of it. Would you mind bringing some medicine? I'll give him some antiseptic in the meantime. We'll manage to keep ourselves alive. So get out there and find some salatoma. Let's go get some salatoma. Do you have any fun games? Nope. Warp Forest is east for need to defense of Nog, and Bunwick Plateau is the north. There aren't many safe places in West Van, so if you're going to travel, be prepared. Ah, the Merchant Vessel on Vavali. Donating another load of relief supplies? We're always grateful. Donating supplies? It's only a ruse. Keep a bit of cargo stored away before we even make anchor in a hurry. I see. Even with Corsair Scourge, you never slip, do ya? These supplies came at just the right time. Aye, with all the extras and soldiers about, it was starting to feel a bit tight. We're feeding our enemies! Copper. A bit ago, a manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, it would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison. But if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or it's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> Just kidding! There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. I bet all of this is the work of some vicious pirate gang. Yeah, something like that. That guy. He's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. Used to be they'd chase you off if you got too close. You know you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. We wouldn't want pirates and demons sneaking up on us. I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. No way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick. Booga booga. You know it's something bragging, but I swear I've got a sixth sense. If the seas are about to get rough, or if there are demons nearby, I can feel it. Mm, maybe, just maybe, I have what it takes to be an exorcist. If you're still saying the same thing in ten years, I'd say go for it. Excuse me, is there an apothecary around here? An apothecary? Sure, there's one in the village. Here in West Gand, plants and animals infect with demon life and attack in folk. The apothecary barely has time to sleep. I see, thank you. In the village. I look at equipment these days, all I want to do is dismantle it. Crafting, collecting materials has become a hobby of mine. I know the feeling. Just keep it under control, alright? Yeah, I need to stop dismantling equipment I was planning to enhance. Planning things. Don't mind me, I'm just robbing you behind. I'm happy that we have more exorcists around, but what are they doing in Warg Forest? Shouldn't they be defending Renid? I haven't been told any reason, but I heard orders came from the Shepherd himself. There must be some deeper purpose.
the exorcists in Ward Forest. She had some benefits for shimmying on in there. Besides just shinies. There are demons that will attack you if they so much smell potential on you. Really? Potentially it would be mighty handy to have around, but I wouldn't dive over it. Apparently there's only one in any particular region. So unless your luck's miserable, you're unlikely to bump into any. Demons drawn to Potentiata. One per region is pretty rare though, even for demons. Still, not a nice thought. What the heck's Potentiata? That's an interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renid was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top-rate crew, so Port Renid was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow, so they built an outer harbor for large ships and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly helped provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renid? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel, right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renid would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renid became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. Brag, brag, brag. You know, bragging is okay. I used to hate it as a kid, but I had forgotten more accepting. You have to talk yourself up sometimes, you know? It rains so much in West Ham. I suppose it makes everything lush and green. They say demon blight affects pants too. It makes the rain feel like a curse. Hear that, ma'am? Your boy's something else. We got a future scholar on our hands. Yeah, but he's a bit frail. That's what worries me. Frail, future scholar. The collapse of harmony, Merlin's rebellion, the dark period. There were so many great events in the past. All legends, of course. When I grow up, I hope to unravel the true meaning behind them. Longs to be a historian. Scout ship. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then. How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons. The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else. Demons breaking in? Inconceivable. But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite. The best of the best. Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in. But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. They'll use it to slip into this very town. Well, we know that, but still! It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. 
The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. <laughs> hey, Death Gaming, thank you for the tier 3 sub. And high chest. I'm already full on Panacea bottles. Ooh, worthless treasure chest. The Abbey fights with all its might to preserve the peace of the land of expunged demons. I do not ask you to believe in me. I ask you to believe in Lord Octorius and the Empyrean and Nomenat. I want to believe. I just can't shake this feeling of unease. I know the Abbey's story, but I'll need tangible proof before I swallow it. You're not the only one risking your lives. That's right. Making us feel safe is part of the Abbey's job. Ah, uh, you're when right. I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the high priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm, bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you. If the demons were that terrible, no wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? Will the bad times return again? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm. So they were talking about you, too. Oh. There's nowhere we can run. Even blight is everywhere. Could there be some safe place across the sea on the far continent, do you think? I, I'm afraid I don't know. I've heard of anyone actually reaching the far continent. So the best we can do is pray we aren't attacked by demons, then. JJ is a traitor. JJ's a traitor, and look, look at what he's cost you. We're all the way here now. And you missed it. This kiss, kiss. <coughs> Hello. Do we have enough to rob you? No. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested it. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? <sighs> I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, we might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Yeah, she was all gag, gag, gag. Solitoma flowers grow in the Warg Forest are a surefire cure for the Corsair Scourge. There are nasty demons roaming about. You shouldn't tread where the Abbey doesn't want you to. Anyway, I'm afraid going in there is a bad idea. Well, someone decided that she would rather do. Dad, I can't take it anymore. Hi. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go with the whining again. Those two, they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it. They're going at it, hammer and dogs. The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years, and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse. 
and the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now, but in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? <laughs> what? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this nonstop. <laughs> I'm... Very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Ah, uh, the Reaper. Me? There's the Reaper. Aha. That's not the marrying at Eleanor. Eleanor is for Velvet. Hello. I'm Hidemi. Third Sun and Rising Star of the Character Card family. Allow me to test your talent for the game. Collect matching pairs. Collect scoring sets. Begin each turn by choosing one card from your hand and playing it to the field. If a card with the matching title is on the field, you take both cards to your pile. If there's no match, your card remains on the field. Draw a card from the deck, place it on the field, resolve. Each belongs to a scoring set indicated by the icon on the lower right of the card. Scoring sets are formed when you collect a certain number of cards belonging to the set. Your number of currently claimed cards in each set is displayed on the right. When you complete this scoring set, you may end the round and collect points. Okay. Let's give it a go. with the pervert. Grrr. Hex yeah! Arch to save the day! Oh, hey, gift subs. That's a lot. Let's see. I could grab some Yuri. I could grab the girl I don't know. Or those girls I don't know. This is the first time. Ooh. Hey! Woo! 
Ooh, Tales of Destiny, Sworn Ally. Let's take it. Scopa. That's enough for now. Until next time. Which means I need to make a Scopa save. I don't know if I have a Scopa reward. I think I do. Somewhere. The Demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. It's been the talk of the town around here lately. My guess is it's some kind of invisible demon. Scary, right? An invisible demon? A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it, or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself, either. But I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Solitoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. Speaking of Eleanor. I will take the lead. For, uh, yes. I won't go to War of Taurus with, with the Abbey allows it or not. There's lots of different beetles there. Rhinoceroses and stags and whatnot. There are insect freaks who love that sort of thing. And they come here to catch bugs in the woods. Well, they ended up fighting over who caught what. And there was even some, blood, some bloodshed. So that place is creeping a lot of different ways. Well. Let's go, Eleanor. This is going to be a big thing. Command your allies. Quickly press RS and the connect. Cancel. Now, show me what you got. Let's get started. Yeah, hoverboard in the future doesn't help me much now. That is her spell absorber bar. That's what her R, that's what her break limit does. We use it when people are casting spells and we absorb their MP. 
and that it's like we, we cancel the spells and the score them. It. And when the bar is full, we let out a big a AoE um, yeah, attack. Sort of. Uh, witches, I don't like dealing with you. You're a pain in my ass, go away. Hey, Lafayette, he said. What's the Reaper's curse Mogulu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern. There was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want. I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Lafayette set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Good girl. Get fucked, Dan, please. <laughs> get fucked. No, don't get fucked. No one's allowed to fuck Bien Fu. Chuck Bien Fu in the ocean. What? Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not. Uh, I mean... Not that it ever happened in the first place, anyway. <laughs> Just forget it. <sighs> Get another victim of the Reaper's curse! I'm not quite sure if Velvet's at that point yet, but we know she'll get to that point. It's virtually guaranteed. Ooh, treasure. Shock ward. Yeah. Oh, hi, slime balls. Should I be fighting you to experience? Probably. Do I want to? No. Yeah, you don't even have to try. Eleanor, are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Aizen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Aizen made a stop over on an island and the men there caught demon blight? Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation? Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's Scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. I know, right? Like, your fic is great, but it is... It's just... How dare they not write more things? I mean, they need to think of all of us who are just so burned out. This is a bad idea, let's do it. Hi there. Oh, hi. Eh, 
they're not as good as the upgraded nano lance. Shall we? Yeah. Woo! It's a thingy. That didn't work like I was hoping. Okay. I mean, there's nothing to do but to just be better. There, that's what happens when you fill up that bar. Demi-human. If I'm going to be doing, you actually have to figure out what I, what you do. Okay. You know what? So let's see. What have we got that's good against speed? Flash step. You're good against demi-human. So let's stun. 
into winter winds, into flash step quickness. Second time's the charm. To fall here. Nice. Oh, we get points for switch blasts. Well, KO free victory over a powerful foe. Nice. Get those cops on, Eleanor. That's an even better view for the hops. Right? That outfit is so good. Oh my god. This must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. And we may have to kill them, which will make Eleanor all sad, which will make her be all impulsive, which could cost Lafacette his... Hi, uh, are you a little... No, you're mushrooms. You're not a squirrel. Could cost Lafacette his vessel. Hi. Well, if we're gonna be, shall we be off? You? Give me my magic exam. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Uh, it doesn't give us the cool little magic exam bows. Well, in that case, let us be go. Let's keep looking at Eleanor. All right, and expedition. Take a look at this. Yay! Pirate flag. Scout ship set. Ah, fire. I understand. Give me those souls. Waha. Okay. Hi, big boar. Tails again, huh? That Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense. It's a kind of proof of his manhood. 
proof of his manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? <laughs> Lothasad has to polish his manhood. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a delayed moment. That was a delayed terrible, but oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. Ooh, more. The Reaper's curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. <laughs> a coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. Douse! It's from Carlin! It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart. I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. I'm gonna add that to my book of, like, little bits in my conspiracy theory that all of the games are, in fact, in the same universe. This is the distant future from Tales of Fantasia. We have the image of Douse on the coin. So the big question will be, will Douse look like that? Ooh. How excited should I be? That hop is probably counterproductive, but I wanted to do it. You understand, don't you, Skunk? The cute little hop. Woo! Ah, it's a bit of you. Multiverse shenanigans. So what does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. By the way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? Moggy Lou is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. Get, you and I shared an eternal vow that binds us get together. Get chucked in the river. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. 
<laughs> Mad of Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bien Fu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're the only one for me, honest. Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am. I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafisat, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> if you're feeling cold, Yenfu, come to me. I'll warm you up. I'll throw you in the oven at 525 degrees Fahrenheit for three and a half hours and see if you come out the other side properly crispy. Not deception. Just gay. Oh my gosh, we got to pick up that Panacea bottle because we used one to fight paralysis with the Code Red. <laughs> Yay! Warm. Yes. If you're cold, she's cold. Put her in the oven. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, as I was saying, if you're cold, she's cold. Put her in the oven. Yay! to a salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. Here's salatoma flower. Here's salatoma. Um, to mama. I'm not going to hop down yet. The Celatone is going to be on the other side of that for sure. Ah, 
Please, Lappy. Thank you. There we go. I refuse to fall Ooh. here. I still don't do the best against large groups. Yay, that will open up the way we need to go. I guess we should have gone the other way. Because then we would have popped down there, done that, and then come back. Well, oh no. Hmm, hmm. That doesn't work. Oh no. Uh, game wouldn't give it to me that easy. Well, time to go the other way. Yeah, well, at least it has good dungeon layouts that don't feel horribly dull and repetitive. Oh my gosh, Grace's is Grace's is so good. Fantasia does have great puzzles. Ooh, there's another one of you. I see you in there. So I want to go get you. Kinda. I mean, I am simply the best after all. So there's no reason why I couldn't just dominate whatever you are. See? I did that without even trying. That dodge right there. Effortless. Oh. Grumble, grumble, grumble. You're hiding.
Haha. <laughs> now I can go back and eliminate you. Hopefully you don't have too many ads. Because if there's just everyone versus one, we can generally get a pretty good pattern going. Water, weak to air, a potus speed. What's good against the potus? Ah, but you're also water. Do you have anything good against the potus? It isn't water. No. Do you have anything good against speed? Spirit beads. Which I open with. Okay. So. And I brought you in here to use your mystery card. Thank you, Lapis. Well, that could have gone better. You even had a KO. Oh, Eleanor at the last minute. Darn it. I was like, oh, where, where, we, at least we didn't do, have any. But no, we had freaking at the last minute, Eleanor. Well. Oh. 
I guess it's fine. Can't make everyone. I really like Eleanor's jacket. I, Eleanor's pirate jacket and I really kind of want it. It's so good. It's like... Look at that. I mean, I would probably wear like more of a top under it because I have brain worms, but still. Okay. So you work. But you're gonna be blocked down here. This is gonna take us the other way, right? And then we're gonna hop down and it's gonna be blocked by the big fire thing. So we're gonna be in trouble again. So what are you going to build me for this time? Absolutely nothing. Yay. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Get wrecked. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. Rah. Victory within 12 seconds. Get fucked. <laughs> okay. This is a runaway match.
I really hate those. Cause not only do they catch me like this, but then I can't like even fucking run away from. Go away. Don't wanna play with you. to it but to hit the dang button. I'm gonna go down another layer. Mm. And just run into problems when we get to the uh, front again. We have a safe point. Ball me fluid, I'm glad I emptied you out. It's so much ball me fluid and nothing to do with it to use it for. Okay, in the depths of the war forest. We go forth. Oh, it turns out we didn't have to go behind. It looks like a dead end up ahead. Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Hmm. I see a big quest symbol and I see some ugly flowers. We found what we're here for. Uh, look, purple flowers. Yep, Solitoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, yeah that they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. Rhino Beetle! <laughs> This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Just like below the castle. Another barrier. That barrier. Even my greater hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right. Everyone, let's do this. <laughs> you go, Velvet. and help us get rid of it. Everyone's got their... Everyone's got their bug form. Not bug form, furry form. Oh, 
I don't need the uh, no item bonus. Yeah. You should not die. Not. Not. We should take a moment. Armored crustacean. I should probably make sure that we have armored crustacean stuff, like spirit drop and. Okay, you're actually just the same. Okay. And you're weak to water, too. Nice. Water, mind you. Oh no! I got all by hard work. And You are a pain in my rear. Oh god, everyone! We only had one KO that time, which I feel pretty good about. Insect collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look, can we keep him? 
No, mm -hmm. hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. Come on, Buffy deserves a little pet demon beetle. Yay! You want it, you feed it. I will! I'll take care of him! Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. She'd be a pretty Just corpse saying, number don't 50. don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. I love Maggie Lou's little background dances. Freaking minus 11 for the KO, and we still... Still do pretty well. Yay! Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Hmm. I wonder if I can convince Rex to draw Isopod Furry Loppy. Can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back, demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Just ask. I'm sure she'll tell you. Eventually. How do we get back to defense? That's how we get back to defense. Wait, hey, it's so far. That bug! It looks pretty tough. Yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it! It must be a new species. Incredible! A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. 
Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Laffy said stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro. Aizen. I. I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly? It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're, They're totally, totally different. different! So, what will you name it? Um... I think... Rhino Stagros, for now. <laughs> Live hard. Woohoo. Oh yeah, that's how everything between those two is. They, they have invented new and more intricate ways to have sex without ever having sex. Just strictly by wagging tongues at each other. Salatoma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Uh, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Solitoma. Oh, poo. How dull. Whew. Hee hee hee. It's always good when BN2 has to suffer. Yeah. I think it's- I prefer- oh, hi. It's more of you. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Hmm. 
Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. As I say, I prefer taking the time to do the thing that's gross sooner rather than later, so it's just fucking done and over. Unfortunately, that gets punished in day-to-day -day life, like, freaking work people will be like, hey, you got all your tasks done, here's more. It's like, fuck you, no, I did that so I can watch anime. And play video games. I miss my old job. My old job would just have prepared tasks, and if I went into work at like 4 in the morning and got them all done by like 6, I mean I wouldn't be absolutely done because my boss would need me to like, would need to like validate, but as soon as he was in at like 6.30 because he had the same philosophy, I could just go home and play video games. Hey, how goes it? Hey. Sabine. Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. Gun. That artifact you've got belongs to Eifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. And what if you want to fuck? <laughs> what are you? I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old pointy beard waiting. We'll chat some more later with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're... <sighs> Let's head back, Luffy said. All right. Remember back when we thought Savid was hot? Like, do you remember that? I did good, didn't I? <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> Get fucked, everyone. Uh, victory within six seconds. Beautiful. I know, right? The problem is, you learn, you play that the stereo, you learn his personality. Holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Eifried. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Eifried brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be all right? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still... Old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. 
Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah. He must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. Maybe this date with Eifried goes really badly, and that's why he becomes a creep. Shiba Inu tail. That is allowable. Do we have any ears? We have the Okitsune ears. Okay. That'll do for now. Okay. Do you really collect Salatoma in Ward Forest? Let's get one thing clear. I tried to stop you. You broke the rules all on your own. I don't want any trouble out of this. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Got the life coveting fairy and the mobile man eating plants taken care of. <coughs> oh, hello. Look, a frog. It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem. Day at Port Renied. A frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... that's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... Rooting for a frog? That's right. <laughs> I once bet a fortune on a game of chance Root involving frog. frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So, did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. Love the three frog. Free frog. Three frog. Free frog. Free throg. The free throg is so good. I mean, who wouldn't be a friend? Who wouldn't be a friend to throgs? Right? Throgs are thrabulous. Burnak Plateau is north of the Fens of Cottonog. Something something stretches to Vortigern. Vortigern stretches the strait between North Gand and West Gand. Yeah, but according to one scholar, West Gand is slowly drifting northward. As one day they'll run into North Can, they'll become one joined land. Wow, there's no reason to do have built 
Word again. The sound is so hard. That's one of the sounds we had to do in speech pathology in elementary school. Just practicing. Put the tongue in front of the your teeth and scrape it backwards. The. Such a pain. Expedition! We're still trying to get over that last part. Is. Seize a storehouse with an endless stock. If you're hungry, look for a ship. I don't care for all those little bones you find in fish, though. The demons have been committing terrible atrocities. Speaking of terrible atrocities, look back there. There's little I can do on my own, but I want to do something to stop them. I've got you covered. I'll enhance your weapons until you hardly recognize them. Yeah, th the is so hard. Free the throg. We brought back your solitomas. Drink up. You've saved us! Where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here! Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it! I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate, a powerful enemy, trap or no. Ugh, you guys are useless. Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We ah. are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Uh, you're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? Just drink your medicine first. You all stay here. Take your medicine like good little boys, and be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Eyes knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! Here, this one's for you. Drink it, Eleanor, drink it! Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Now, about where Eisen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's work together and find him. Yeah. Ah, oh, but that working together is going to have to wait until next time, because I still have work in the morning. So, also my kids are beginning to flop down, even, even though they left the light on outside. So, in any case, who do we have that we can raid into? I best see JJ streaming. 
as penance for his crimes. No. Let's see. Not really anything that I want to raid into here. Hmm. Sahil, are there any like community people streaming that I don't follow? So I don't see anyone that I would want to jump us into. Unless you're going to be, unless you're going to start streaming Fantasia. Huh? That'd be a brilliant idea. I won't stream into Kaladin, no. Well, in that case, uh, thanks y'all for coming by. I have been Barb, and this will be your opportunity to go get a snack and say goodnight. Peace.